Hello everyone, my name is Okwandia and I'm the Solutions Engineer at Electronique. Today I'm going to be taking you guys on a journey with me into building a web automation bot. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I use my web automation tools such as scraping structured data as well as opening a URL and using some of the different elements here to pull information and contents to a table. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to go ahead and jump into playground mode. I'm going to start by opening a URL. Once I go ahead and pull out my activity to open a URL, I'll go over here to define my parameters. In my parameters, I'll be able to define the actual URL that I want to use, which I have ready and available. And then I'll have the ability to go ahead and select the browser that I would like to use. We do support Chrome Native, Edge Native, Chrome Selenium, and Internet Explorer. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use Chrome Native. You have the ability to define whether you want that specific web page to open on tab. I'm going to set my specific tab to be tab 1. I also have the ability to set parameters regarding the wait before seconds or wait after. So let's go ahead and get some content pulled up here. The website that I'm going to be opening up is just a random Google News about Bali, Indonesia. So I'm going to refresh my page to ensure that the full URL populates. I'm going to go ahead and copy this URL here. And then I'm going to go ahead back to my Electronic Studio Pro. And I'm going to paste my URL there. Now I'm going to go ahead and exit out of my windows so I can show you guys how this works. Let's go ahead and run this workflow. Awesome. And as you can see, it did populate to the page in which I wanted to pull my specifications from. So now we're able to go ahead and move on to our next step. I'm going to go back into my web automation, into my web browser capabilities, and use my scrape structured data activity. What this is going to do, it's going to create a data relations file, which is going to open up a new file here, where you'll be able to go in and click those data elements. Once you have specified your data elements that you would like to pull from the web page, it will then save those contents as a table. Over here, you'll be able to go in and enter that data relations file for the information that's going to be pulled. Once you hit save inside of this data element, it will automatically populate into this path here. So let's go ahead and get our contents that we'd like to get pulled. I'm going to click on my data element. I'm going to go to pick new element. You do have the ability to go in and choose the properties to extract, as well as go in and edit the output name. Let's go ahead and pick our web page element now. As you can see from this yellow outline, that's an indicator saying that I can select that element. So let's go ahead and select here. So what I want to do is actually start by gathering the source. So I'm going to hit Control X, and that's going to go ahead and specify my sources. I'm going to hit Escape and Preview Data. I am going to keep it on the inner text because I do want to gather the inner text from each one of these contents. And I'm going to rename this as being my source. And I'm going to hit save. Once I get to my output name, I'm going to go over here and change this to article source. Under properties to extract, here's where you'll be able to go and change any properties that you may like to extract from here. Now that I have my first element, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my next element here. The next element that I'm going to choose, I want to gather from there now the title of the article. So I'm going to select the title. I'm going to choose Escape. I'm going to go into my preview data. I'm going to change from my href to inner text. I also want to include the data from the other selections to preview. This is going to show me the information that I've gathered so far. And I'm going to name this article title. And then I'm going to hit save as my output name. I'm not going to rewrite that name as a variable. Awesome. 
Awesome. So now I'm going to go ahead and choose my next data element. The next data element that I want to pull from here is going to be the article summary. I'm going to select the summary and go ahead and hit escape. I'm going to change this to article summary. Preview my data. I'm going to change it from the link to inner text. I also want to include all of the information in which I have already selected. And then I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to name this article summary. And for my last data element, I want to go in and pull when that actual article was published. So I'm going to go ahead and pick my element. I'm going to go ahead and hit one week ago. Select that element, hit escape. I'm going to preview my data. It is marked as inner text. I want to include all of the data from my other selections. And then I want to change this here to article eight. And now I'm going to hit save. I'll put name to be article date as well. So now that I have all of my elements selected, I want to go ahead and hit save. I want to actually save this file as because I want to give it a different name. So what I want to put here, I actually want to go in and create a new folder. For this new folder, this is going to be called News Scrape. Let's go ahead and open that folder up. And for the name, I want to go ahead and name this actual file News Data Relation. And I'm going to hit save. Now that I have my element selected, I'm going to go back over here to my new file. And then you'll be able to see that that has automatically populated. Now I want to go into my terms of my table. So this is going to allow me to go in and change the specifications of how I want this table to be saved. So I want to go in here. And I want to go and look at where it's actually being saved. Since it's being saved in my new scrape, I want to go and name this scrape results. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now that I've scraped my initial data, I actually want to add a step after this scrape structured data. Now that I have my data from my data relations file, I want to actually add a step after my scrape structured data before I actually save this table. So before I actually save this table, what I want to do is go in and assign a value to variable. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a value to the variable of this actual scraped data. So let's go ahead and do that now. And I'm going to name the variable SSD for scrape structured data. And I'm just going to use save the previous step result. If I hit this, this is going to save this step as that actual variable. And then now I'm going to hit save as a table. Once I go in and set up my parameters for saving to a table, I want to see where this is actually going to get saved. So I want to save it into my new scrape. And I want to name the file scrape results. Now I want to hit save there. Also for my table, I want to calculate a value because I've now made my scrape structured data a variable. So I have the ability to go in and actually make this a value. So let's go in and enter that now. Now I want to go in and actually define those parameters of my table and what the contents that I actually want to have pulled to the table. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and enter what my variable is. I have my variable being SSD. And that's going to be the contents that I want pulled. Because again, SSD is the variable for the data that I chose to scrape. 
So I want to go ahead and start with a new page. And let's go ahead and run this workflow now. Right, we're opening a URL. In the bottom right corner, you'll see the actions for the bot runner that are running. We scrape the data and we save the table. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that table that we saved. And as you can see in my Excel file, it now has given me all the information in which I inquired from pulling those contents from the web. As you can read the titles here, we have the article source, as well as the article title, the article summary, and also the article date. I'm gonna go ahead and widen this view. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to use the web automation, web scraping, and your Chrome native browser. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And remember, happy automation with Electronique. Thank you.